Story time. So this one's actually a myth that a lot of people don't know about, so I wanted to actually give it some attention that it deserved. And it's the myth of Godin and the origin of the Lombards. So the Lombards were originally known as something akin to the Winnili, I think is how it's pronounced, but the Winnili. And due to overpopulation or what have you, they struck out from Scandinavia. And eventually they came across the Vandals. And the Vandals had a rule there, and that was you can either give us tribute or we can give you war. Now, the Winnie Lee at this time were led by Ibor and Io and their mother Gambara. And they chose war, they didn't want to do tribute. It was better to fight for liberty and life by the sword than to live under tri and die than live under tribute. So, the Vandals consulted Godin, who told them that he would give victory to whoever he saw first on the battlefield. Gambara, on the other hand, for her children and the rest of the Winnili, she went to Freya, and she asked Freya for aid. And Freya said, that the women should march with the men in battle and tie their hair in front of them like a beard to make it seem like they were more in number. And then when the day came and the women with their long tied beards and their men marched forth against the vandals, on the morning Godin woke, Freya turned the bed of Godin so that he saw the Winnili. And he asked, who are these long beards? And Freya said, Thou hast named them, so thou must give them victory. And Godin did as such. And from then on, the Lombards were their name, the Langobardi, the long beards. And they grew their beards to match. And their old fertility cult was replaced by the god that had granted them victory in this new land, Godin. And that is the origin of the Lombards.